Here's another one. <laughs> Golf, one of the few things in life he takes seriously. And by the way, Frank claims to be a black belt in Ludo. Well, now, Ian Botham took one look at Bernard Manning today and said he wasn't surprised Bernard had once been a goalkeeper. I'm, I'm not quite sure why he said that, Bernard. The goals are only 24 feet wide. Not much, not much light on either side when I was in goals. And I'll tell you one thing, I always turned up, and that is the main thing in football, if you turn up, That's when you're right. reliable. Don't you think so? Well, I think it's more important they should have called you George Best, because he never turns up. <laughs> it's not well, like you to be funny, Frank. <laughs> a major interest in two clubs, haven't you, Bernard? The Embassy Club in Manchester, which he owns and makes a few bob as one of the sharpest and funniest comedians in Britain, and the other club is Manchester City, where he spent a few bob, having watched them since he was a boy. And when he's not there, he's on the race course trying to beat the bookmakers. Uh, Tim Rice's game. Rafferty. Ronan Rafferty, Ronan Rafferty, the yeah. Irish international, you are right, two right. points, well done. Lucky for Frank Carson's ball, eh? <laughs> uh, Jilly. Sal. Sal Ian Ian Rush. Oh, very good. I mean, you're right in other Liverpool players, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> it looks to me as though he's visiting Leicester Piggott. <laughs> First went in, he wouldn't go in his cell. He had a blindfold, he turning around three times and back him in. <laughs> two good points there, <laughs> Tim. You're Tell you what, he was too real to be acting, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, please, David. Opinion there, but oh, they declared nice war, the Argentinians, on Ireland. <coughs> Uh, they took the key of the top of the corned beef tent. <laughs> I must say, now you know why the theatres yeah. are closing down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Play it, tell him. I bet you'd sooner walk around Manchester with a six-inch nail in your shoe, wouldn't you? Cracker. <laughs> 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 Frank, for you, scenes from Europe's Ryder Cup win last year. Yes. There are no points at all for Ballesteros or Jacqueline, you'll know them, uh, but two points for any other golfers you can recognise. Right. Ba -ba -ba -la -la -ba -ba. Girl, Katrina Witt. Yeah, she lost points by falling at the end. <laughs> <laughs> she just heard one of your jokes. I'm too bold. <laughs> this man's not only being nasty at my expense, he's also getting laughs. <laughs> no, no icy problems for you, just snow. I did. The Irish Olympics want to just arrive in sail. Well. <laughs> six left and Bernard Manning leads the way. Number 12. Oh, who's uh, that? Yeah, uh, Pam Schreiber. Pam Schreiber. Well done, yes. She's got a lovely bedroom too. <laughs> Jilly. Uh, three. Shergar. Shergar, that's quite right. Uh, won the derby, <coughs> went missing, and, and the jockey is uh, Walter Swindon. Yeah, so you get your two points. Yep, they bombed our chip shop. <laughs> Langer is right for two Fellow points. Fellow walked in a chip shop, he said, he's sure this fish was cooked. He says, why? He said, he's had all the chips. <laughs> Frank, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bill, you complete the match with number eight. Uh, well, 30 well points to Bill's 26. Well done, Bill. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the programme. We'll be back in the usual place next week, Tuesday night, BBC One, 8.30. Till then, Happy New Year and goodbye.